You know that you know that show on NBC called The Voice? Oh yes, yes. I'd say there should be a spin-off on that show where instead of singing it's voice acting impressions. <laughs> I think you're and, right, of course. Can you make that happen? I'll, I'll, I, I'll be there. I had a, a friend of mine voice told me really that um, Mel Blanc liked to entertain oh, his guests at parties by um, oh, yeah. doing his voices. Do you do that too? I can't stop. I mean, I, I just... <laughs> it's, it's like, Enthusiasm, isn't it? I guess so. Something like that. <laughs> but I always joke around. I say, well, I am the voice of Winnie the Pooh, but I'm also Winnie the Pooh and the anti-Pooh. Can anybody guess who the anti-Pooh cartoon character might be? Uh, oh, one of the Pooh features. Well, uh, okay, should we give him a hint, Pooh? I got it. Here's what he sounds like. Get me the devil! Oh, yeah. That's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm uh, Pooh and the anti-Pooh. So anyway, well, gosh, uh, let's see. What? Should I do any voices, or what are we doing here? Uh, um, uh, we, did, we did Pooh, we did Tigger. Uh, yeah. Does anybody remember Darkwing Duck? Oh, oh yes. yes. The flaps in the night. <laughs> yes. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing yes, Duck. He's, he's right about the red edge. Uh, does everybody remember Tailspin? Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I, remember that. That. I, I was a Don Carnage on Tailspin. He was Dos Mucho. Mm -hmm. He was amazing. <laughs> and uh, also, I uh, was King Louie. Well, I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle of the IP. <laughs> no, is it kind of hard to do scat, or is it pretty easy? Nah, nah, I've always... It's pretty easy. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't know if it's easy. I guess it's easy for me because I've been doing it my whole life, you know, just doing yeah. all that stuff. In fact, uh, when I got married in uh, 2001, I hired Sam Butera and the Witnesses, who was really famous band, uh, to play at my wedding. That's awesome. And I got up there and sang with them, yeah. They offered me a job. <laughs> I go, dude, I just hired you. you can, I, yeah. Where were you 20 years ago when I really needed you? Jim, if there was anything other career you could have chosen, what do you think that would have been? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. I was going to say something in music, but I still am in music, so I don't. that's probably in there. Well, probably not a lawyer. <laughs> Teachers be good. Yeah. Teachers be good. Yeah. Anything vital? Anything important needed for doing voice acting? Mm. Don't be a mime. I, I'll just go. <laughs> uh, yeah, take care of your voice and don't smoke. How about that? Uh, yeah. That'd be yeah, good. Yeah, good idea for smoke. aspiring voice actors good. like myself. Yes. Well, you know, uh, uh, my advice to you would be uh, keep your eyes and ears open. And what I've done uh, is kind of impressions of people that, that aren't famous, like my Aunt Grace, rest her soul. Uh, I've used her a lot uh, because, of, <laughs> but uh, always for somebody like a boxer who's been punched out, is because her voice just sounded like that to me. You know, I, 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 you know, and uh, of course, <laughs> Aunt Grace is going to send a lightning bolt down on me from, from heaven for saying that, but. Um, and my uncle Sam, uh, he was—he had a, one of those voices uh, uh, that you know. He, I've used him for dragons and ogres, and because Uncle Sam just kind of talked like that. Believe it or not, he didn't smoke either, but that's his way, son. Um. So I've, I've used—I always call up my cousins and say, "Well, your your dad uh, is going to be the dragon on." You know, <laughs> This Sunday afternoon, you might want to watch. Yeah. And, uh, and if you do uh, a bad impression of somebody famous, you can just pretend it's a new voice. Uh. <laughs>